Hello and welcome to the Scenic Vision. So today we are going to treasure hunt liquidators. Yes, and this is in Raleigh, North Carolina, uh, near Capitol Boulevard. If any of you guys know about like where that area is really located at. Basically, what they sell is um, they'll buy at wholesale price, um, like returns from Lowe's, you know, Walmart, Target, places like that and they can have anything from like apple watches ipads um drones all type of stuff and the first day because on thursday they're closed they um sell on friday they open back up and sell at ten dollars whatever you can find and they've kind of tweaked it a little bit to where it's fair for everyone um you just have to make sure you get there early and then each day after that it goes down so like i think saturday's eight dollars yeah and six dollars three dollars so it $2. starts at ten dollars and that's usually for like that's it is on fridays and then the cheapest you're gonna get is this wednesdays for a dollar because on thursdays they close to restock so right. if you are interested in that uh you can go ahead and keep watching so yeah So uh, welcome, as I already said, if you are new, you can go ahead and subscribe. Y'all better subscribe. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in. Nah, don't keep that. Um, just go ahead and subscribe. And if you're not new, welcome back. And so as you could already see, like, you know, in the beginning, we talked about where we're going and we had the opportunity for them to invite us and to come in earlier to get a few shots of the whole place and everything and show you guys what they have everything new and all that stuff so and we actually make a living out of it you know we buy and resell stuff and this is one of like the perfect places to do it let's say i believe it was last week they had an apple watch for ten dollars like you can't get any better than that that's I, that sounds pretty great to me so you can do that you can obviously keep it for yourself or you can resell it and just you know get more money so if you are interested in how we do that you can go ahead and comment and let us know and we'll be happy to make another video so basically fridays they start at ten dollars and i'm probably gonna like put it here written right here what the other days are i believe like I believe Saturday is eight dollars and it goes down by two dollars I want to say until Wednesday it's at one dollar so yeah so if you are interested in that you can go ahead and keep watching and we will show you what we got and what they have and yeah an understanding an idea of what it is that we do we buy overstock items from target walmart lowe's home depot and amazon one of the major differences between us and most other liquidation places is that we buy new we have new relatively all 99 percent of all of our merchandise is brand new whereas the other places they have pallets full of items which were returned to the stores another glaring difference between us and them is we don't make any of our pallets. We don't build them. How you see them is how we buy them. Most of those other places, they'll go to an auction. They'll buy about 30 pallets, break them down, rebuild them. Now they got 50 pallets. We don't do that. Another major difference between us and them, we don't deal with the auction. We just hijack the entire process. All those chains that I've mentioned, when they get their inventory in, they only have it in for it to be sold within a specific time frame. If it's not sold within that time, what they do is they pallet it up. In Amazon's case, they box it up, ship it to a warehouse to be auctioned off. We hijack that whole process and just buy the entire truckload. And even though we're no longer doing a 20% discount, if you look at the prices of any of our pallets, as you can see right here, 
even at 1050 this is still an exceptionally well priced palette and this is an entire palette of electronics so and all of the prices of all of our palettes they vary and to speak specifically about our amazon mystery palettes i believe since we've opened we've sold over 200 of those and the fact that we don't know that's part of the amazon mystery <laughs> but we do i i can only thing i can tell you you're gonna be happy with it that's the only thing I can pretty much guarantee. You might not get what someone else got, but you're going to find something in there that was worth it to you. Exactly. So I just anybody that wants to wants to know anything further, just come on in. And as you can see, we are busy. So we're going to be talking about the process of the or what we went through with figuring out everything in their process. But before we get to that, if you guys want to get in our giveaway we are teaming up with them and we are going to be giving you guys a giveaway all you have to do is just like and subscribe and comment down below and if you guys want more extra entries or anything like that you can go to our instagram which will also be linked down below and you can also get you know comment on that and like on that all you have to do you do have to be in the raleigh area though so I mean, it's really up to you if you're in like Canada and you're California and you want to like, you know, but I don't think so. So you have to be in the Raleigh area just because you have to be at the place. You, that's that's where you pick it up. And yeah, you just get to have your little, you know, free giveaway. So if you guys are interested in that, keep watching. All right. So we're back so from Treasure Hunt. We are back. <laughs> this is actually our second time making this video because I forgot to put the mic in. <laughs> so we're just gonna brush past the topics and yeah let's start from the beginning god i'm so mad okay so wow such a such a day so some of the things that we found were we have a drone actually do you want to show them yeah so some of the things that we ended up getting from the treasure hunt were this drone and this would qualify as one of the red ticket items. Um, it'll have a red dot on it, basically saying that you can only buy one of them, uh, which I think is good because it makes it fair for everybody that's coming in, the ones that were there at 4 a.m., the ones that were there at 9 a.m., mm -hmm. um, waiting. And then we also got these um, base headphones, and these retail for like $60 on Amazon. We got them for 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the drone. It retails for maybe like, 150 to like 200 and we got it for ten dollars so we spent twenty dollars and what we could sell it all for over 200 bucks yeah something like that exactly. so um definitely a good day uh, yes treasure something, hunting something to keep in mind though that is very important is just because you're finding all of these nice and cool things it doesn't mean that it's going to be you know in the best condition keep exactly. in mind that these are some things that are uh return items sometimes people just don't want them sometimes they're broken and they try to return them sometimes you return them through amazon whatever in the truck it gets broken blah 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 blah. you they buy overstock items so you know you do have the chance of like getting like a really brand new like you know whatever item but you also have the chance of getting something that completely doesn't work yes. so you obviously can't try it out in the store it's something of luck but it's ten dollars so i in my opinion i I say that it's worth it that's yeah. just something to keep in mind and that is very important because we heard that there's a lot of people that are like getting angry and they're like oh it doesn't work and da, da, da. but the whole the whole point of the store are reselling items that are returns or restock or etc so that's just something i think that would be important to to exactly. know before you just go. keep in mind and it's the same thing on the pallets mm -hmm. they've now listed everything on the pallets what's on it what it retails for new and they do warn you and let you know that you know some of the things can be missing parts or you know be broken or have a crease here or exactly. just understand that the stuff can be used a little bit or worn out a little bit but um and typically for ten dollars when something costs you know up to 500 or a thousand dollars is worth the roll of the dice so, exactly um luckily both of our things work to the best of our knowledge so we can use them a little bit if we want to we can sell them if we want to um we can use them and then sell them it doesn't really matter so mm -hmm. uh it's all up to you but we had a really good time hunting 
and we're happy with the stuff that we got and i hope that you guys are happy with the footage that we got and we also hope that you go down there and kind of see what you have and yes. leave in the comments what you find mm -hmm. something also to keep in mind is that they restock they close the store on thursday to restock and that's the only day that they restock basically you know really anything so just because you're there and you're like this thing isn't worth ten dollars don't buy it just go exactly. on a day where it's you know wednesday where they sell items for one dollar or on tuesday where they sell items for two dollars or three dollars you know it really just depends on you and if you don't think it's worth it then go another day now that doesn't mean that when you get there it will still be there exactly. you know if you really want it that bad and you're like oh i'm scared you know just buy it but just because you're like this isn't worth that much okay they re they're restocking for like the whole entire week and the whole entire week goes up to one dollar so if you want something really that bad then go ahead but you i think that you should just wait until wednesday where it's like a dollar or you know when the price starts going down when we first went they started implementing all of these different new processes that now help the consumer a little mm -hmm. bit more and one of those processes is um especially in raleigh where it's cold um during the winter months um instead of everyone standing in line at 4 a.m., they have these two iPads up front where you just type in your name and your phone number. And then as long as you stay within a quarter mile radius of those iPads, it will send you a text message um, whenever they're ready for your group or your wave to come into uh, the store. Mm -hmm. So that, that really helps everything. You can sit in your car, you can listen to music, you can watch TikTok or our yeah. YouTube videos. It really doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then go in and you're with your group of people. So, you know, it's not constant flows of people going in. Mm -hmm. um, and then everyone goes in uh, that's in your group and they let you shop for up to 20 minutes. You can only pick one red dot item, which is a big ticket item. Uh, that makes it fair for everyone that's waited in line. Um, and and wanted to get a piece of the action which we think is good exact and i also think that is really important something that they do is that when they're doing the process of you know you have to wait you you're shopping for 20 minutes then you have to get in the line you aren't able to keep shopping the bins once you're in line you can't get out exactly. so and meanwhile in that time they're bringing out from the back they're bringing you know other items other things for other people who have been waiting or didn't you know get there at four in the morning to also get red ticket items and i really like that process because in the beginning it was like first come first serve there are some people that can't get there early they can't get there on time they have other things other you know priorities that they have to do but they still want to go so this is a really nice way to even though you haven't been there since four in the morning you will still get something nice which i think exactly. is important for you know it kind of keeps it a little bit fun because you're like okay well you know this time that i go i'll be able to get something new i'll be able to get something fun yeah so i think that wraps up this video uh, we would just like to thank the owners and the management at Treasure Hunt Liquidation for allowing us to come in early yes. and film and uh, giving us a chance to get the drone. We hope everybody that watches this video goes and tries it out. There's mm -hmm. definitely a lot of things that you can get. So if you guys like this video, you can subscribe and like. That would really help a lot. If you want to go to our Instagram, it will be linked down below our travel page. and. Thank you so much for watching. If you are in the area, let us know what you got, if you got anything nice. And like I said, go in that giveaway, like, share, tag, all of the nice stuff. We'll have more details down below, obviously. So if you guys are interested in that, you know, go ahead. And yeah, thank you for watching. And y'all better like and subscribe. Right, babe? Yeah, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you.